out of state petitioners. Good question. So you're going to go to new search. Then you would go, let's do Arizona, for example, since it's a smaller county list. Um, we'll do out of state petitioner. And today's date, we'll go back those three months. And the tricky part, you're going to click on Show Advanced Search Options and look at the options that you have. You could do case number, deceased information, petitioner's information, lawyer's information. But the one thing that we're going to look at is exclude petitioner's state. So since we're in Arizona, we're going to want to put this formula down. And make sure that you copy this formula down um, exactly because this is what's going to help you each time. And it changes with the abbreviation per state. So if we're in California, it will go California. So we're going to do Arizona. It will be capital A-Z, comma, lowercase a-Z, no spaces, comma, spell out Arizona with a capital A, comma, and forward slash A. So that's going to be what we're looking for. Any petitioners that are outside of Arizona, and we'll click both of them, Maricopa and Pima, and click search. So now all of these people, click on the case, are outside of Arizona. The petitioners are going to be outside of Arizona. So we have Ladera Ranch, California. We have uh, Sequim, Washington, and Lindenville, Virginia. Well, these are all outside of Arizona. <coughs> excuse me, outside of Arizona. So we wanted that's that was the point for us to get those petitioners who are outside, and those will give you the best, well, the better chance because. Those people can't make the, the trip back and forth and spend that money, take the time off, and come and take care of someone else's estate when they have their own lives to run as well. Um, if you, the way to get in contact with them, if, there's no, if there isn't a number, is to write them a letter. Introduce yourself. Um, if there is a number, still write them a letter. Write them a letter first. Introduce, them yourself, introduce yourself to them. Give them that time to be able to read your letter and take it all in. Because remember, you're dealing with people who just lost someone. And when you're just losing somebody, it's you put yourself in their shoes. You, it's not really someone you want to talk to. You don't want to deal with it just yet. So be, be empathetic towards them. Understand that this is a, a time that they need help, but you know, you want to take all of that away from them. You want to help them grieve.